two. Part two to building my sliding glass door. The first part was the plexiglass installation or preparation. Okay. Uh, now the next part is I've already showed you in the first video uh, how I cut my boards, but you'll get to see me cut the end boards and actually groove them out like I've done here, as you can see on the end, uh, to slide over this so that we can properly build uh, this sliding glass door. So let me get to it. Let me make sure that's, uh, yeah, okay. Then we get to it. All right, so now, the next step, which actually, the next step is going to be to pop these two by fours on here and then get my measurements for my end boards. Now, this board is angled here, you might notice in your video, I don't know. It was that way, um, and I decided to just go with it. I, I would have preferred it not have had the slant there, but whatever. Come on. There we go. And then, the tool we're going to need, and this is not going to work just like that. The tool that we are going to need, don't ever use a hammer, but a rubber mallet works very good for this application. There it is. There's the rubber mallet. Okay, let's try this again. And now I got my rubber mallet on. Stay up high. This is a little difficult, and uh, I didn't have a whole lot of help on the first door, but I did have a little bit, so it went a little easier. But, hey, I'm getting blessed right here. Oh, sweet. That just slid right in for me. Nice. All right. Very, very nice. Now, very good. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, let's do the bottom first then. Let's see if I can angle the camera for you. You might not be able to see the bottom very well. Uh, there we go. So, <laughs> On the first door, I was actually able to put that piece on and flip it, but I had it a tighter fit. This one's a little bit looser fit, so let's see what happens here. Oh, nice. That's, ooh, that is seated. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's seated in there real nice. I love it. Man, that first door really had me, man. I was fighting it, getting it in that groove. But then I learned a trick. When I grooved it out, I when I ran it across my table saw, then I flipped it over, flipped it around, <coughs> ran it back through the groove again, and it just cleaned it up for me. It cleaned that groove up for me by flipping it around and running it in reverse through the through the groove, which I'll show you on the on the two boards I cut here in a few minutes. Now let me grab this other board. Uh, Get it popped on so I can get my measurements. Oh, nice. It's like right in here. Almost. You get down here to level. I might not even need the mallet. Let's see. Come on, baby. Come on. What are you doing to me? Okay, there we go. Slide the little booty in there. Slide the little booty in there. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. I'm not even going to need the mallet. I needed the mallet on the first door because I didn't get the grooves wide enough. But I got it now. I got it down pat. Ooh, that is beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. I'm loving it. So now, get me, uh, ooh, I wish I would have done that, though. Oh, well, I'm going to have a problem with that, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so now I'm going to need my next boards to be 33 inches. Ooh, I don't like it. 33 inches. Okay. Let's check it down here. And for these boards here, you want to be just a little bit over your measurement because with your grooves, you got plenty of space to work with if your board is just a hair too long. But if you got to cut too short, you just got to recut your board. Now, because I've seen what this was trying to do, I'm going to take this top board off, set it to the side, I'll put it back on in a bit. 33 inches. So now, 
Got my trusty old chop saw over here. Let me get this cardboard out of the way. The plexiglass came in. Oh, I love this chop saw. Craftsman chop saw. Does all the angles, the back and forth motion. Goes like that there. And then, of course, uh, the loops in that. You know, both directional angles. Love it, love it, love it. And then up here, I even got, you can't see it because it's daylight. I even got a little light. Now, when the lighting is, is right, uh, which is not really right right now, but I can sometimes hold my hands to the side here. When, when it's a little darker, that light provides a laser line on the board I'm cutting. So all I have to do is make a little mark at my measurement spot. I don't even have to uh, bring it all the way across because the laser light does it for me. So, now, I measured that at 33 inches. Truth be told, I might go 33 and a eight. So, let me find a good, decent board here. This one don't look too shabby. This one looks pretty good. I'll use this one. Now, Precisely, but I don't need to do on this one. Wait a minute. You know what? I may come back and trim this up later. Because I don't know that I want that plexiglass sliding around in there as loose as I have got. Uh, oh, wow. You know what? Nope, we're going to do. Wow. Okay, we're going to do right here then, we're going to do 33 and 1 16th, because by doing that, 33 and 1 16th, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, hey, I can live, you know what, I can live with that, both sides are at 33 and 1 16th, and I was going to do 33 and 2 16th, but this way, and get the exact same measurement for the price of one cut. So, hey, on my board smell. Ah. Personally, most folks don't do this, and I wouldn't really recommend it because you can butcher the cuts. But for me, it works a lot better when I have my 2x4 suspended up in the air. So that's why, like this wood here, I've got screwed down. I never bothered to screw this side down. I need to. One of these times I will. But it ain't killing me right now. So, yeah. It just works better for me. Now, now, okay, my blade's already raised up. So now what I'm going to do, closer so y'all can actually see what I'm doing here. Um, let, me, you know, let me put you over here maybe. Okay. So, here we go there. Um, you know, these boards are relatively short so maybe I can kind of put you right here and you won't be in the way. Yeah. Alright. Best I got for y'all. Okay, so first board this blade is dull so I do need a new blade <clears throat> so it takes a little longer for my cuts but it works so
moment and give you all kind of a warning. Don't be an idiot like me. Always wear safety uh, goggles. You know how many times stuff has flew in my eyes? Seriously. Don't be an idiot like me. And uh, I don't know if I really should be wearing gloves or not. Uh, probably not for me because I see gloves as if the glove tangles up in there. That's for sure going to pull my hand into it. But there's got to be safer ways than the way I'm doing it. But I'm not a very bright person sometimes. And I guess I just love Briss. <laughs>